everybody, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we're gonna be testing the All Powers 400 watt portable solar panel. And you guys are well aware, these portable panels, when they get this big, are very expensive. For example, options from EcoFlow and Blue Eddy can get over $800 to $900, but this one is actually fairly affordable compared to those. So the first thing I wanna do is deploy this. I'm gonna time myself to see how long it takes to set up. So it took me one minute and 12 seconds to get that set up. Well, now that this is deployed, you can see what it looks like. You get five individual panels that are all wired together for up to 400 watts of power. Now, each section of the solar panel has its own kickstand, so it does sit fairly straight. Now, I did notice that the kickstand angle is pretty steep, so this is ideal for winter, spring, or fall. But in the summer, you're gonna want a little bit lower angle, so it might be best not to use the kickstand. I'll be testing it either way. Now, as for solar conditions today, it's around 90 degrees. We're testing right at noon. We do have a little bit of haze, but luckily there aren't any clouds. Now I have gone ahead and let the panel sit out for 20 minutes so it can warm up. So let's go ahead and show you the testing setup. Now I like that this solar panel has MC4 adapters on the back, and I will be testing with the EcoFlow Delta II. Now this power station accepts up to 500 watts input 60 volts at 15 amps. I am using an XT60i adapter to get the high amperage. And in line, I have a voltmeter and clamp meter so we can break down the details of the power. I first wanna test the voltage open circuit. So with my voltmeter in line, we're getting 38.85 volts. Now this is advertised to have 45.3 volts open circuit, but the panel is fairly warm. So let's go ahead and connect this up to the power station, see how many watts we can get. We just connected up the solar panel to the Delta II. We're seeing 273 to 272 watts charging input. Let's go ahead and break down the voltage and the amperage. Now testing for the voltage under peak power, we're getting 29 to 30 volts under peak power. Now as for the amperage from the solar panel, we're getting around 9.4 to 9.5 amps. Now the next test that I wanna do with this solar panel is to determine how it's wired together so we can see how it performs in partial shading. Now these panels can be wired together in series or in parallel. Now, if they're wired together in series, that means if you shade one of them, you'll lose almost all the power output from the panel. If they're wired together in parallel, that means that you can get shade on one of these panels and it still will have pretty good performance. So I'm gonna take this piece of cardboard, I'm gonna set it on top of one of these panels and we'll go check to see how much power we're getting. So with the panel partially shaded, we are still getting 224 watts of output, meaning that these are wired together in parallel, so you'll get very decent partial shading performance. Now in the next test, I wanna see how much power we get from the panel with it laying flat on the ground. Like I said earlier, I think the kickstands are a bit steep to use during summer. And so with it laying flat on the ground, I think we're gonna get a little bit more power from this panel. So let's see how much we're getting. So with the panel flat on the ground, we are getting 279 to 280 watts charging input. So we are getting a little bit more power with the panel on the ground. Now, as a control, I wanna go ahead and test this 100 watt panel from Bouge RV. This is their nine bus bar half cut cell solar panel. So this is a very efficient panel. Under really good conditions, I'll see 95 watts out of this panel, but in the summer, I see a lot less power from it. So I'm kind of interested to see what we get from this panel. Solar panels do not like heat and sitting in the sun in a 90 degree day, they get pretty warm. So let's see how many watts we're getting from this 100 watt panel. So we're getting 70 watts from that 100 watt solar panel. So it gives you an idea of what the current conditions are like today versus what you'd see in the spring or fall when the panels are a little bit cooler. Now this is why I like to do real world testing because when it's hot outside and you have a little bit of haze, you're not gonna get full power output. For example, we saw around 25 to 30% power loss on that 100 watt panel. So we can also assume that we're seeing the same amount of power loss on this panel. So under ideal conditions, we'd probably see around 330 to 355 watts from this solar panel. But in the middle of the summer, you're not gonna see that on any solar panel. So just be aware of that. Now it's super hot outside. Let's go ahead and take this stuff inside and finish up the video. Ah, <sighs> feels so much better being inside. So let's go ahead and break down some of the sizing, the weight and specifications for the All Powers 400. Now when this panel is folded up, it is 21 inches wide by 40 and a half inches tall by two and a half inches thick. Now when you deploy this, it is 110 inches wide and 40 and a half inches tall. Now the solar panel comes in at 39.4 pounds or 17.8 kilograms. It uses a five bus bar design and it uses 
polycrystalline solar panels versus monocrystalline. Polycrystalline take up a little bit more space, they're not as efficient, and that's why this uses a five panel design versus a four panel design. It's probably what you'd see on a monocrystalline solar panel. Now this is advertised to have an ETFE coating, however it is a smooth ETFE coating which I have not seen before. Now All Power's solar panels always come with a ton of different stuff. First off you get the MC4 adapters which are right on the back of the panel which is great. It comes with this XT60 adapter for charging different power stations. You also get this 5525 and also this 5525 to 8020 adapter. So you can charge Jackery power stations with this solar panel as well. You get eight different carabiners for attaching it or you know hanging it up and you also get the owner's manual. Now this solar panel comes with a ginormous pouch to put all these adapters and cables into. Now this panel is advertised to have an IP67 waterproof rating and All Powers offers a 24 month or two year warranty for this panel. Now the things I like about it, I like that it folds up to be really compact and being 40 pounds, it's pretty easy to still carry around, especially if you're looking for a lot of portable power. Now obviously if you have a setup that's just gonna be in the sun all day, every day, I recommend you use a glass rigid panel setup, but if you're looking for something that's temporary use that you can deploy out and then fold away, put away into a closet, then a folding panel is a great option. Now this comes in at a price of $509 on Amazon and they do have a 10% off discount code, which brings the price down to $460. So this is significantly cheaper than other options that are available like EcoFlow and Bluetti. Now if you guys are interested in seeing a larger comparison video between more of these 400 watt solar panels, let me know, smash that thumbs up button. Maybe if we can get over 200 likes, 300 likes on this video, we can uh, move on to testing other 400 watt panels and doing a full comparison video later on the channel. Now I am interested in testing this in better conditions, so I will be testing this later this year. So stick around for that video. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching till the end. I'll have all the links down in the video description to all the products that you've seen in the video. Thank you for watching. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.